Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Antebellum here in EU4. It's, uh, we might, we might, we might get attacked. I'm, I'm actually going to state this all up as well. I know I said I probably wasn't going to, but I changed my mind. I'm going to. Come again. There we go. State it up. A lot of these guys, the ones that are full stated, we can... So, we're ahead on Diplo. This is basically... I think this is fine. Let's do this. Let's do it. Uh, admin points are good. I like admin points. Make sure we're doing all the appropriate holy orders. So, as we start to core this stuff up, we'll be able to do that. So, we're getting money for that. Um, nobility can have a little bit of land. That's not a big deal. We're not going to take tech that far ahead of time. So let's spend some points on deving production. Something like that. All that, in turn, goes back into our pocket, which is great. We are going to need to start yoinking a little bit of this stuff here and there as time goes on. But it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, money for innovativeness is good, especially if it gives us a little bit of prestige as well. So I like that. I'm okay with being one over our Diplo limit. If I were to attack him, Transoxiana would not join, mostly because of debt. Almost exclusively because of debt. Huh. So he's beating up on no guy pretty good right now. I will send him... Yeah, I'll take on his debt. And then I could attack my coalition that way. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, I think this needs to be changed because I'm almost positive it says it that they would be considered a co-belligerent, but they actually aren't. It's actually more expensive to take land against them. I'm almost positive that that's correct. Um, the fact that we make it a holy war is good because it means that we can uh, do it on our terms here. Um... So let's get these guys over here. I think before I declare any wars, we're going to make sure we have a good defensive fort line. So we're going to take some time here to uh, get that all done. 11 ducats sounds good. Matter of fact, I'm going to take out a couple of loans here. Build up these forts over here. And uh, this is actually a complete fort line, so it's good. The one down in Jerusalem is going to need upgraded, so let's upgrade you. So it's all good. And then I'll upgrade all of them. It's fine. And whenever they're done getting upgraded, we will um, we'll be good to um, declare the war on our coalition. So are you in debt again? He's not. Very good. He doesn't have any men though, apparently. He does, he had like 20,000 more than he did uh, does now. Oh. Derp. Oh, look. Nice. Our coalition disbanded. Well, hey, that makes it a lot easier for me. <laughs> uh, I'll probably actually just full annex QQ or AQ. That's like best case scenario, honestly. So let's... We have no generals. And the ones that I'm getting are pretty garbage. We'll get rid of the ones that are bad. That'll do. Let's get these guys down here. Get these guys brought over here. I'm not worried about this war now. I was thinking I needed... Um, I was thinking I was going to need them, but this is fine. And I'll be able to... Take these provinces from AQ or QQ after I attack these guys, which we will whenever our truce is up. We'll take that tech. Thank you. Probably should have double dipped, honestly. Would have saved a little bit. We've lost the siege of Jerusalem. 
No. Get some spy network over here. Let's slow it down a little bit. No point in speed five in it. We don't have to, so we won't. So we won't. Uh, this war has been going on for a very long time. Five years. I have 33% participation, apparently. Which I think is hilarious. Whenever we convert this, I think the... I think it'll go basically down. It'll basically go away. The unrest, I mean. Nice. Fort defensiveness is nice. I like it. Makes me happy. Alright, we've won the Siege of Alexandria. Uh, apparently I... Uh... Come again. <laughs> Or zone of control is broken in the game, so it will not let me march into my own land, even though it would let them do it 100%. But that's fine. I'm not complaining. I'm not mad. Nice. That should be an easy clap. So let's just siege him down. He doesn't have any allies that I care about. Shamar and Hajaz, uh, Hejaz don't matter at all. At all, at all. Uh, it looks like we lost a couple of our galleys somewhere. Build a couple more. Want to maintain our dominance. Don't want to take our foot off the gas pedal. Here we go. And we're just going to make our way down here. All we really want are these two provinces since that's what we have claims on. Apparently I have a claim over here as well. But I think I would rather do something like this. Because we'll get permanent claims on the rest of it later. Yeah, this makes sense, right? Albion. Uh, Albion declared war on uh, Sligo. Like, I'm going to do literally anything about this. Boo! Waste my time. Something like this. We just need to win these sieges and we'll be able to piece them out. No big deal. Um, AQ. Wow. Okay, let's uh, isolate him. That way we can full occupy and full annex him. We're gonna have to win this siege for sure. Okay. Apparently there's a fort down here. That's a new one. I've never seen that before. Though, to be fair, they did change the map up. You can see, you can actually march around Alexandria. In vanilla, you can't, so. Something that was changed in Antebellum. Had those guys go there. We'll take these forts out of here. go something like that a couple of years we'll be able to take up tech we'll actually be caught up on everything which would be great perfect so we'll be able to get this 100 peace deal very soon especially considering the fact that his war exhaustion is going to explode in the coming months uh these forts are done they're upgraded so these are all level four forts hurts our income quite a bit but Makes me feel a lot better about the uh, coming wars in the future, right? Yep, we're gonna full occupy them. Apparently they've got a 19 stack running around somewhere. So these guys are over here, but uh, yep, they're not gonna make any difference. Oh, looks like they got a natural wall breach. Very good. Believe me, you guys want to peace out. The longer you stay in this war, the worse it is for you. I promise. I promise. Serious, no joke. It's not a joke. Let's do something like this. It's because of these guys over here giving them a little bit of extra... Uh, war enthusiasm. But as we get down there, we'll be feeling a lot better. Here we go. Something like this is fine. 
So Shamar is a vessel. We also have not sieged back Jerusalem yet, and they took that fort up there, so... Yeah, okay. Let's get working on that. Go sit on Mecca. Might actually just be able to piece him out just by standing on his capital. That would be great. Because we have him almost full occupied. I mean, he might as well be for all I care. Papal controller is now this wiener over here. Bummer. Take the manpower. Do we make much from tax? Oh yeah, we do. There we go. Not bad, huh? Let's just piece you out. Oh, he wants to he wants to fight it. Won the siege of Jerusalem. Whenever we win this one, we'll be able to peace out, no problem. Sure, Syria. Looks like we got some rebels over here. Doesn't affect me. I accept my little bit of my manpower, but other than that, it doesn't affect me. Believe me, you, you guys want out of this war. I promise you. I'll, lose, I'll gain a little bit of corruption. That's no big deal. And they're up here sitting on these forts. How do you have 14k and it's not enough? Really? It's 15? I didn't know it was that much. I thought it was 12. Because of- wait, the Theodosian walls apply to everything? Uh, pardon me, you might want to check that out. I don't think that's what you mean for that to be. I think it should be... It says local defensiveness. Is that our... Am I being dumb? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I think I am just being dumb, but whatever. Alright, cool. These guys can now be 100%. I'm just gonna take what I can. What I have claims on. No big deal. Very good. We'll pour it all up. Aleppo is a crazy amount of points. What? Oh, it's because I stated this up. Right, right, right. No, that makes sense. That's fine. Get these guys up to Aleppo. Let's get these guys up here. Coalition is probably gonna regrow. It's fine with me. Honestly, I don't care. It's actually good for us because we're going to gain a lot more trade. Oh, yep. Scorched the earth in my own land for no reason. The classic. We're just going to spend all of our um, church mana. Oh, just kidding. One more month. We core that up. Very good. For now, I will accept a couple of cultures here. Nice. More cardinals. I like cardinals. I think they're a very pretty bird. There we go. Continue to build up infrastructure. Makes our country nice and strong. And then uh, these guys are truces up in 87. Free admin points. I like that. Gonna need to build this guy in Aleppo as well. So the reason why I'm stating all this for now is just to bring down our oh, average autonomy. Golden Era is over, sadly. Tender Rebels. I'm not helping you out there, man. So we're up to 54%. That's pretty good. I'm actually just going to drill these guys until we get closer to having Rebels that, would, that I need to worry about. Let's see here. Let's uh, steal some maps from you about, like, the Arabian Sea. Thank you. Can't see the Horn of Africa, which is really dumb. Huh. 
about the Snyder. No. Is there anything? The Maghreb, one province. Can't steal any maps from them, sadly. Oh well, no big deal. Got busted spying anyways. Sadly. Let's get a claim on this province here so I can full annex him in the next war. We're just waiting on February of 87. So a year and a half from now. So I'm going to flip over to admin focus. I think our next group will be admin. I think it kind of needs to be. Yep. So let's switch over to admin focus. We can afford a higher guy. Let's actually go with a dev guy. A little bit of dev cost is always nice, especially considering that we want to be doing this. So, hmm. Oh my gosh. I really want to state all this stuff up. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to state this all up before I do anything else. It's going to make our economy explode through the roof. We need it. I lose Defender of the Faith? I did. Just kidding. Reestablish the Kingdom of Jerusalem. No, we don't want to do that. We want to stay the Latin Empire. Uh, definitely trade efficiency. And Diplo points? Wow, that's going to be really good for us. Bro, what is this? They're not considering me while they're attacking these guys. I'm going to lose the uh, Defender of the Faith again. It's going to make me mad. Sorrow overtakes you. So my heir, the 214, has died. Oh no. Anyways. So, let's see here. This is a lot of dev, honestly. And then any... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we have a missionary or a merchant as well that I need to use. So let's transfer from here. That should steer a bit. 50... Okay. A little bit. It's not nothing. Uh, two, three, five, or not. Not gonna accept some garbage air just because he's the first one that I get available to me. So our truce with these guys is over. Luckily for us, he didn't join a coalition. Uh, so this is good. So let's attack. And then, uh, we'll full occupy him. These guys can head over to Avaria. And we're gonna piece these guys out for the largest piece we can. Looks like Hasa got eaten. Uh, guards stop him. Lose a little... Every own province in Europe following the Protestant... Uh, this is fine. I don't... I don't have any heretical provinces, so that's fine. We just basically paid man... Paid mail points for, uh, Pope Man to like me a little more. Though it looks like Pope Man is not feeling too good. He's a secondary participant in the war, too, which is really funny, actually. Doesn't bother me. Let's get these guys over here. Get these guys over here. Very good. I'm gonna piece of Aria out for as much a long the longest truce possible that we can get with them. There we go. It's fine. And then uh, these guys are going to get full annexed. Did I get that claim? I didn't. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that then. We'll just piece them out for that. And we'll continue to core everything while we can. And uh, that allows us to take all these provinces. So, truce with these guys is up already. So, let's holy war them. And we'll have these guys come on over here. And we're just going to full annex him as well. 
Oh wow, what? Bro, what? Look at this. Okay, apparently that's it. I uh, can't afford it, but uh, we'll core him up while we can. When we can, rather. And then we'll attack QQ and uh, finish up this guy here. Uh, this one, which will give us culture conversion cost till the end of the game and army tradition, which is nice. Egypt is now no longer a valid rival, which is wild to me. Let's get our general over here drilling. Sure, might as well convert it while we're waiting on uh, points to, to spend on coring it. Sure. Got some rebels over here, sadly. Let's go handle them. Once we uh, finish this missionary conversion up, there we go. We have really low unrest, which is great. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this fall behind because it will just get a discount. Because we're not gonna be taking this tech anytime soon. So let's see here. Do we have anything full stated up over here? Is there a place, like how come it's showing that they're all full stated even though they're not? Kind of annoying. Is there a way to, uh, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Too bad. There we go. Build some production, plenty of it, and then I think I'd rather get the roads up and running first. Lose some prestige. I'm not losing admin. Did I lose Defender of the Faith again? Probably. Let's embargo him. Embargo him. Keep our PP as large as humanly possible. And let's spend plenty of points on dev. Or on, yeah, on dev over here. go. Matter of fact, we're ahead enough. Something like that. There we go. Manpower is looking solid. Get a claim on you. Recall. Let's get some claims on these guys. I think if we go with this, there we go. We'll be getting lots of trade power. Oh yeah. Lots of spy network. I mean, Let's see here. Is there a holy order thing? Right. We don't need this state edict. It's been losing. I've lost hundreds of ducats over the last like 50 years because of that. Sure, man. Apparently, I surpassed him again. Albanian noble rebels. Oh, right. Uh, I should probably... Oh, this is... Pope man land. So he still hasn't beaten up on these rebels. I'm pretty sure these are the same pretender rebels that have been there for, like, forever. I might be wrong, though. Let's continue to core this stuff. It's hurting our governing capacity. But we want to attack these guys. We want to use Transoxiana. We're only going to take two provinces from him. We might take a little more, but... Can we release... 
Oh, yeah. Actually, I'll probably take everything I can and release an Armenia or something like that. Let's do some Holy War here. No point in putting it off, honestly. And uh, let's just siege him down. Few indeed, of course. All right, cool. We'll take care of this war in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please show your support and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. And it'll send you notifications every time we upload. If you want to also see what's going on over on the Discord, you can uh, check the link in the description below, as well as if you'd like to support our channel. We have plenty of ways to do it. Patreon is the best way, as well as channel memberships. Those are also going to be linked in the description as well. So with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot. I'll catch you guys later. A very special huge thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Spartan Omega, as well as the other very generous people, Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Angelic, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Some Kind of Meme, Corbett Gaming, Blonde Damon, Thomas Jarden, The Bitter Steel, Joseph Catchell, RJ Pilot, Home TV, Disdain, and many, many more. Your continued support is what allows this channel to thrive, and I appreciate you very much.